In this video, we will be explaining the codes of our programs. We will just highlight the codes that we will be explaining so be sure to listen carefully for the explanations. These two files are the codes for stack implementation using Array. This one is the main program and this one is the class file. This code is how we will be calling the class file. Well, this code is how we will be calling the tkinter module. Using window variable, we will be able to use the tkinter in our program. These two lines here are the way we call the class and method in the class file. So this is the class name which have the parameter of list, window, and photo. And this is the method called main form. Inside the main form method are the operations for tkinter or the objects that we used for GUI design. So let's break down every part of these codes. These first three lines are all about the window title, color, and size. This code is for the photo that we insert in the window. We use the photo as a label in our GUI. These buttons here are for the menu of the program. Every button has specific command if you click each of them. This first button is for the adding of the notebook in the list. If you click it, it will go to click function. This click method will just give us an output. The output will just insert it in output text box. So here's the code for putting that text box in our window. First we have an entry or input box. This is where the user input the name of the notebook's owner. And these are the codes for putting the entry box in our window. So again, we have button for submitting the name. If you click it, the command is to go to add method. These are the codes in add method. The main operation here is just to push the name inside the main list or the stack. The second button in the menu is to check the notebook at the top of the stack. Next command is to go to check method. And these are the code for check method. The main operation here is just to pop the name inside the main list or the stack. The third button in the menu is to pick who's the owner of the notebook at the top of the stack. And its command is to go to pick method. And these are the codes for pick method. The main operation here is just to print the name of the notebook's owner at the top of the stack. The fourth button in the menu is to check all the notebooks and it commands is to go to check all methods. These are the codes for check all method. The main operation here is just to print all the notebooks owner inside the list and then set the main list to a null. The last button in the menu is if you want to exit the window. And its command is to go to quit method. Here's the code for quit method. First, it will show a message box using a message box module. Then, destroy the window. Now, watch the execution of the program if we run it. So here's the whole program for QS implementation using linked list. 
Well, this code is how we will be calling the ticking thermodule. So, here is how we call the class. And here is the class to be called. Here are just the same as the first program, so I won't be explaining it anymore. Here we'll just focus on the commands and the methods because those are the differ from the first program. So in this program, you need to input the user's name and concern to get an appointment. After that, a button sign up should be clicked. This button's command is to go to start method. And here's the code for start method. Here, a sign up method in the class link list will be called with the name and its concern as the parameters. So, here's the sign up method in the class. This method is just to enqueue the patient's name and concern to the link list. So, now we go to the four buttons at the menu. So the first button is for the user or patient to enter the room. It commands is to go to next function. So here's the code for next function. Here Q method in the class link list will be called. And here's the code for it. This method will just output the first patient lined up in the link list. The second button is for the patient to begin the consultation. Its command is to go to consult function. This is the code for consult function. Here, consultation method in the class link list will be called. And here's the code for it. Inside of it, yes. This method will output the first patient that lined up and then the queue that patient to the link list. We use the code for it and link list this button is for the closing time it command is to go to close function so here's the close function here close method in link list class will be called here's the code for it this method is just for emptying the link list the last button in the menu is if you want to exit the window and its command is to go to exit method. First, it will show a message box using a message box module. And then, it will destroy the whole window. Now, watch the execution of the program if we run it. And that's all for this video. We hope that you learned something. Thank you for watching.